Tree friend, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm so excited to paint a watercolor hot dog with you guys today. So this is another chapter from my book Watercolor Snacks and the very first step I did was to mix in two colors for the hot dog color and the ones that I used were Burnt Sienna and Quinacridone Rose. Uh, of course, feel free to kind of get an approximate color um, that you may have in your palette or at your disposal. Uh, but I just wanted to share the colors that I used to get that color. So I started with the wet on dry technique and um, just using my color mix that I created and adding in that color inside of the hot dog shape and working around the, um, the little squiggle that represents the mustard in this case. Because my color mix was fairly light in value, I'm going back in and adding more of the color mix, so dropping more color on the right hand side of the hot dog. And essentially that's to represent that you know my light source is coming from the left, so that area is going to be a bit lighter and I'm, I'm even some, in some cases going in and lifting off some of the color so there's like a nice highlight on that side. But then I'm creating a nice contrast by adding even more of that hot dog color um, on the right hand side. I would also recommend to allow this entire shape to dry and then go back in and add another layer of that color mix um, to kind of give that definition um, of the hot dog so it looks a little bit more realistic.
definitely allow your uh, sketch to dry before you proceed to the next step. And here I'm using yellow okra to paint the buns that are around the hot dog. And I'm painting them with the wet on dry technique. Um, so I've just got some diluted yellow okra on my palette as you can see here. And I'm just painting in the first layer for those buns. Next, allow the sketch to dry completely and mix in the two colors, raw sienna and yellow okra to get um, a darker, like a deeper uh, red color for the out outer parts of the bun. So we'll be using those, we'll be painting just the outside portions uh, so that the inside um, has like a nice contrast between the two areas. the mustard color I used cadmium yellow medium but honestly any yellow that you have will work here and I am also as I'm painting along that kind of wavy squiggly line I'm also being mindful of where the highlights are on the hot dog so after I've painted the first layer I'm kind of going back I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm lifting off just a little bit of color on the mostly the left hand side so that uh, the rest of the so all those highlights match the rest of the hot dog. Finally, I have mixed some yellow okra and golden deep to get that kind of golden brown and delicious color on the bun and I'm painting that just kind of like as a thin line on the very outside edges of the bun. And after that, I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm going back in and kind of and blending in uh, those brush strokes so that there is a nice and smooth transition between that golden brown and delicious color into the rest of the bun shape. And this here is a totally an optional step, but I like to uh, kind of take a look at the sketch after I finished it and see what are some areas where I can add a little bit more of a punch, make the colors pop a little bit more. So I'm just going back in with that uh, watercolor mix for the hot dog color and I'm just adding in another layer and um, mostly on the right hand side and in some spots where it makes sense for a little shadow to be formed.
Thank you so much for watching, sweet friend. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my book called Watercolor Snacks. I'll link to it in the description below. Until next time, stay creative.